I have a law in the 48 laws of power called never appear too perfect. And the danger in the world today is the number one danger is envy. We live in a time of social media, etc., where it's massive envy, where we know what everybody else is doing in life. And we don't like to admit that we're envious, so we attack people passive aggressively. We subvert them, we try and throw obstacles in their way. We criticize them when in fact we envy them. And the strategy there is to learn how to deflect envy. So if you're Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, you have to have some humor, you have to have some self-deprecating humor. You have to take the criticism that comes and kind of laugh at it and go along with it so that you don't appear all stiff and rigid and defensive. One of the laws is, I think, the most important, basically make people dependent on you. You don't want to appeal to people's love, to the fact that they like you. You want to appeal to the fact that they need you. Because if they love you, love is a very tenuous emotion. In fact, it doesn't work very well in the work situation. It causes all kinds of problems. They'll get rid of you tomorrow, even though they like you. But if they need you, it's like, pulling out all of these roots of a plant to get rid of you it's going to cause all kinds of damage all over the place they need you and they can't get rid of you so you need to make sure that your position in a company in life in general you're the only person who can do that the great architect santiago calatrava who i interviewed for this book and calatrava would say the greatest danger he faced in designing a building is after five six years of working on a project it would go stale and it no longer felt alive to him and he didn't know why he was doing it and it was a terrible feeling and so what would happen if whenever that happened to him is he would reassess it and then throw everything out he would throw out all the drawings all the six years of work and start all over. And, and people would look at him like he was crazy. He did it because he had to get back to that sort of freshness that he needed to be more creative and in the moment. And he said, I, I didn't care. I, I don't care if I have to throw out six years of work. The feeling of making it better and being more alive in the moment is what matters. I thought that was sort of a powerful way of expressing it. You know, a lot of times when we meet a person, we can sense right away that there's something wrong about them, right? Mm. And I tell people who get into toxic relationships, you know, can you go back to that moment when you first met them? And can you remember a moment where you got initially a little bit uncomfortable in their presence? Or and conflated then, discomfort with butterflies, passion. Yeah, you know, but, but you didn't trust the feelings. That's what I'm getting at, right? So a lot of people have the right instincts because we are animals and we can kind of feel that a person is fake mm -hmm. or that a person is hiding something. Mm -hmm. You know, like children are very good at that. They